everyone, and welcome back to Art with Miss Cho. Today, you can see we're in a different area. I want us to use chalk, either chalk pastels, sidewalk chalk, whatever you have in your house. And I'm going to be actually doing it on my driveway. We're going to be doing a project about space. So it's going to be a galaxy. We're going to be doing swirls. We're going to start with our light colors going up to our dark colors. And I'm going to try and turn my whole driveway into space. So instead of just thinking about all the options when you go outside with sidewalk chalk, you could actually come up with a very specific project. Do it as a family. There are so many different ideas where instead of just, I do this, you do this, make a beautiful big mural on your driveway or on, if you have a little sidewalk, whatever you have. If you don't have access or if it's raining where you are today, then go ahead and uh, take a black piece of paper and your chalk and let's get to work. So what we're going to be using today, I'm using soft pastels because I don't have any sidewalk chalk. But if you have sidewalk chalk, that's great. We're going to be going from our cool colors, our light colors, to our dark colors. So we're thinking about space and we have the black of our, of our driveway or you know whatever color dark, normally dark. If your sidewalk isn't dark, well we can go ahead and give it a coat of black after we're done doing our galaxy. So I'm going to start. We have a couple different ways we can do it, but I'm going to be doing some swirls. And they're going to build off each other. And remember, we're trying, we're thinking about doing our whole driveway, or at least a part of it. And hopefully you're not doing this alone. This could be a whole family activity. I'm gonna move on from my yellow and I'm gonna do some like-minded colors. And I'm gonna start to blend these colors together. Just cause we're outside on our driveway doesn't mean we have to go quick. We can still take our time. If you notice a little ant just crawled by or a little alien guy. So I'm blending these colors together. You could even use a brush you could also play with, maybe once you're done, what happens when you add water to this. You could actually kind of make it turn like paint. So again, sticking with these like-minded colors, blending them together, and I'm keeping with this swirling motion like a galaxy. And now I can go ahead and start introducing some other colors, filling up the space with them. Have fun. This is a really nice, relaxing thing to do. As a group. Remember, we're going light colors to dark colors. And remember in our other videos how we did colors that blend together easily are colors that actually make each other up. So I'm doing this green by my blues because green is made out of red and blue. So it goes really nicely with that color, but I wouldn't want to put a green next to a purple because that's just make brown. So do be careful with your colors. And play with what happens if you add white on top. If you add white on top, the colors will get lighter. And we could also go ahead, put some stars around. If you decide this little galaxy is done, we could move on to another one. So for my next one, I'm gonna do some blues and some red because I wanna make some purple. My set of chalk does not have purple. So I'm gonna have to make my own. And I'm going to leave this one, maybe it could be a little bit more loose. I'm going to have them kind of build. And I'm going to have it run into my other galaxy over here. So I'm just starting with some big circles. 
And my idea started with my colors. I'm keeping it nice and big and loose. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start introducing. I'm gonna even use the side of my chalk. I'm not gonna be afraid about putting down color. I broke my chalk and that's okay. I'm gonna put some glue right on top of that. Chalk is such a great way to play with colors and experiment and see what happens when they mix. It's so forgiving. And the great thing is when it rains, it just washes away and you can try it again. You could think about your driveway or your sidewalk or your balcony. If you have like a little, like, you know, you live in an apartment, you have a little balcony area. You can do this on your balcony and then take a bucket of water and dump it off and it'll just go away. Instead of using paper, 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 you could take a picture of it and it'll last forever. And look at pictures of space. Get inspired by what you see. I've always thought the colors in space, the pictures I see of it, they're so beautiful. So the great thing about this is my fingers actually turned out more like the galaxy than maybe my driveway did, but I still had a blast doing it. I think my first galaxy was maybe the most realistic, so maybe if I would have kept going with those swirls. And I'm going to keep going when it gets a little cooler out. A little secret, my phone actually went dark because uh, it got too hot. So do try to do this on a cool day or take breaks, take popsicle breaks. And this is just a great way to use what you have around you, make, are you, you're in the, you're in the way, yes. Uh, but it's a great way to do something different and not just come outside with a box of chalk and not know at all what you want to do. So have an idea when you're going out, maybe go out, think about it as a family, think about it as a mural. So maybe even plan it out ahead of time, take a piece of paper, draw up, don't just do, this is my section, this is your section, this is your section. That gets really boring and sad. So do it as a family, do it as a group. You know, maybe you can still do this social distance with a group of people outside where, you know, you have a plan and you know, I'm gonna be in this area making it, but you know, the other person is gonna just, is gonna blend into theirs if you have the same theme or the same idea. So I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope this gave you an idea of something to do on uh, maybe not so hot summer day. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe so you always get notified, and uh, let me know how it went for you. So remember also listen to Miss Nucha's story time about a mouse that went to space. I think it's a mouse or not. So click the link below, watch her story time as a little cool down from this heat. Bye.